Hello everyone, this is Ice Nine Ghost or Diamond Kings TV. This is the Save Wizard Guide made in 2022. I recorded this in 2021 and needed to make some edits, so I'm doing that. This video will be covering how to re sign, re region, and add a profile to your Save Wizard and all the little things you need to know. Here we're going to go to Chrome. You're going to download the Save Wizard program. import your activation key. It will download as an MSI file, but install as an EXE. This video will not be covering how to apply and make your own quick codes, but it is completely possible if you join my Discord and you can learn from a couple of users. Here I'm going to explain how to move saves from your PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. We're going to start with the PlayStation 5. First thing you need to do is go to your settings, go to your application save data management or your save data and game slash app settings, save data PS4, go to console storage, and then copy to USB storage device and make sure you plug it in. Here I'm going to get Grand Theft Auto 5 and I'm going to use it. You can use a auto save or a manual save to assign your profile to Save Blizzard. Now I'm gonna switch over to the PS4 and show you the same process of copying the save to the flash drive. Just keep in mind that either a save from the PS4 or on the PlayStation 5, they're both PlayStation 4 game saves, so you can use either to apply your profile to Save Blizzard. Okay, now we're on the PS4. First thing is to go up to your settings. Go down to application save data management, save data and system storage, then copy to USB storage device and wait for it to load. Once it loads, I'm gonna go down to Grand Theft Auto 5 and I'm gonna select this save here, special bonds 11.7%, then I'm gonna copy it to the flash drive. Okay, I'm going to go switch back over to the computer. Okay, so we're going to plug in the flash drive to the computer and open it. You should see a file structure system, PS4, save data, then the user profile, and then the game. Okay, once inside Save Wizard, go to the Cheats tab and then right click on a save. Once you do that, you'll see register profile and just select that. And here you can enter in the name of the other profile. So I'm entering in my regular PlayStation name and select apply. And then from here you can see that when you select the down arrow, it shows you the names and here's the profile manager my save. From inside of Save Wizard, we're going to apply a cheat so you can right click and then hit quick mode or you can double click the game save and it'll pop up. Here you can see the cheats you can apply to each character for GTA 5 such as max money, max skills for Trevor, Michael, and Franklin. All games have different cheats to them, so just be aware. Once you have selected your cheats, just select apply and wait. When you load the cheat in the game or the game save, if it doesn't work, it's probably because there was a note inside of the cheat that said something specific needed to be done, such as had one of a dollar. If there's a comment, they'll put it over there in the little comment section on the right. Okay, so here's how you'd resign saves. You could resign saves by clicking import, then browsing the computer to find the correct zip file of the game save that you want. In this case, 
I'm gonna use Doom Eternal because I'm gonna also show you an example of quick code that I have made and found with a guy named Sodom. I'm gonna select the backup 100% of Doom Eternal. It's my own save. Remember to send the folder to a zip folder. Now when testing saves, if there's more than one, just resign all of the saves. In this case, I have Doom Eternal, save one, two, and the profile. I'm just gonna resign all three real quick. But this may not always be the case. Just pay attention to the game save and what the instructions were where you found it. Additional last note to profiles and adding and deleting. You can actually delete the profile or the game save that you use to assign your profile inside of Save Wizard underneath the cheat tab. Just right click and hit delete. Or you can browse the folder, select the files themselves and delete. Or you can just delete the folder. So any of those options will ultimately delete the game save and you'll still have your profile registered. Here's how to add cheats that were made by regular users, not ones made by Save Wizard. So right click and select quick mode to get into the cheats menu. While that's loading, I'm gonna hop on my Discord and go grab my quick code for Doom Eternal. Just note if it has an XX or a YY on the end of the quick code, you may need to change the value to the perspective one. In my case, I need to change it to 7F to represent 127 lives. And it'll reset to 99 lives if you're using this. In the quick code menu, just right click on the cheat, select add cheat, enter in the description, enter in the cheat and any comments, and then select okay when you're done. And then check mark all of the cheats that you wanna apply your cheat will be highlighted as blue. So that's how you know that your cheat's in there. I'm gonna show you how to re-region. I'm gonna quickly import the EU and US versions of Red Dead Redemption 2. One moment. re-regioning a new save. Imported the EU and US versions of Red Dead Redemption 2. One version is 6.0 and one version is 7.0. I'm gonna take the US file and import it on top of the EU file. So I'm gonna right click, select advanced mode. And then you can see that it's SRDR 30,000. I'm going to export it and create a new folder and name that folder re-region tutorial. This isn't a step you need to do, this is just something that I do. Now we're going to right click on the other one, open it in advanced mode. and then import the exported file that we just saved. Don't forget to change the first digit of the hex data to the same digit that's already there. Now open and import the exported file and hit apply. the end of video and I'm going to show you my discord server it's called Slayer's Ice Realm it has around roughly 18 20 to 18 40 members here's our welcome section you can see that we have a bot made by this user very nice and friendly I would recommend we get users all the time we have an announcements we have game save threads so you can always see the newest game saves that appear and save wizard updates same deal 
We have lots of frequently asked questions and a lot of guide and info to help you out understanding everything that you need to know. So with all that said, I want to show you that we have trophies to share your trophies. We have memes, funny memes that you can share. We have lots of different quick code channels for Crystar, Hades, Black Flag, Attack on Titan, Doom Eternal, Dying Light 2, Last of Us 2, Stardew Valley, and more. I just wanted to show you guys this so that way you get a chance to see it. The link should be in the video. Have a good one.